I am Ea Torado, an energy healer and a dance artist. And in this video, I'm going to share with you a very simple, practical, and beginner-friendly chair yoga that leads to some nice, fun, feel-good, intuitive dance movements. But first, why do we need to move? Well, someone said that stillness is great for the mind, but movement is great for the body. And when I say movement, I mean any kind of movement, you know, that you really like. You know, maybe you're swimming, you're running, you're dancing, you're doing yoga, you're weightlifting. As we age, it is important that we move more and we move in ways that are pleasurable for our body. Whatever kind of movement practice you resonate with, that's so important. Now, why did I choose teaching or sharing chair yoga in this video. First of all, I have 19 years of professional experience as a dance artist and my background was ballet and contemporary dance and I formed my own dance company. And while all of that is happening, I was also a dance teacher all that time. Combine that also with my yoga teacher's training that I did and I finished in 2015 with White Space Wellness Studio in Katipuna in Quezon City. So, um, I never really professionally taught yoga simply because I'm really a geek. Like when I started to, you know, get certifications here and there and learn some stuff, I love adding them to my toolbox so that I can better know about the body and I can better know about what are the movement modalities or gestures or ways in which the body could self-heal. That's something that I've been using in my course programs, which by the way, I have, you know, I have a three-month coaching program for wellness wherein I tailor fit, you know, a specific kind of program drawing from mindfulness, meditation, and energy healing. If you're interested in that, I will work with you one-on-one. -on -one. We see each other once a week and just click the link below. All the information will be there. Now, going back to what I said, why do we need to move? As we age, we need to move because it's great for the body. Not only will it give really happy hormones up in our head and will lift our energy and our mood, but also it's really good for our muscles, for our bone density, and it's really good for, you know, a feeling that um, we're healthy or, you know, we're moving stagnant energy in our bodies and, you know, things are getting flowing and feeling good. Plus also, now that the world is opening up from a strict lockdown and the pandemic and everything is, you know, open again, most of us are still, you know, working online, working from home or digital nomads we're in. We're mostly sitting right in front of the Zoom and of the computer. Or maybe we're back at the office, you know, working, but still that's a lot of hours when we're just sitting down and a prolonged state wherein we're just sitting down and most of us maybe don't have good posture and we're just slouching. It is bad, bad, bad for our health. So this very simple chair yoga leading to some nice, juicy, uh, yummy, intuitive free flow dance is something that you can use in less than 10 minutes. You know, whether you're in a break, um, you're in a lunch break, or you know, it's something that you just feel, you know, that is fun and would be good for you, okay? So let's get right into it. First of all, to start, if you are sitting really close to your desk, yeah, I invite you to push back your chair a couple of inches so that you have a little bit of a space in front of you. And if you know, you're able to be in a room where in, in the middle of the room, you can just put your chair there and be comfortable sitting there, then do that. Okay, so sitting in, on your chair, be really nice and comfy to start. Flip your palms to face up and simply rest the back of your hands right on top of your knees or your thighs. Dangle both elbows by the sides of the rib cage. Now from here, pull your navel in a little bit closer to the spine, a, a tiny cinching of your waistline so that you may feel both sides of your torso long, lengthening your whole spine. Maybe close your eyes and take a nice deep cleansing breath. From here, feel your sitting bones connect to the chair and in the crown of your head reaching upwards, a feeling of length. Inhale and exhale. Now we're just going to pause for a couple of seconds. As your eyes are closed, I invite you to connect to an inner quiet, your inner space. And in 
this inner quiet or inner space, you were just going to say hello to your body and maybe appreciate your body for everything that it has done for you and it's doing for you. And we're gonna do that by just feeling our bodies in this seated position, breathing, nourishing our body with our deep, slow breaths. Now gently flicker your eyes open so you can see me. And just raising the shoulders up and then down. Two more, up and then down. One more, up and then down. Good. And then rotating your head to look side to side. Try not only to move your chin, but also your nose and your eyes. Slowly, head comes back to center and tilt one ear closed, one shoulder. Imagine a string connected to the other ear lifting upwards, other way. Relax your jaw, soften your chest, and center the head once more. This time around, you're gonna lengthen your arms down by the sides of your body as if there are laser beams coming out of your fingertips. So you feel the whole length of your arms. Breathe in. As you breathe out, slowly lifting the arms up, keep them long. And then open your chest and tilt your chin up until your arms are reaching up towards the sky. And then from here, very gently, palms come together. Breathe in. As you breathe out, your palms in prayer position will go right in front of your head, your face, until your palms reach the front of your chest. We're going to do that one more time. Arms down, arms long. Inhale, reaching out. Allow your arms to really fully take up space. Longest arms you can make, longest spine you have. Look upwards, tilt the chin, reach up, inhale. Exhale, palms in, elbows out to the side. Hands in front of you. One more set, down, breathe in, reaching, lifting, and right at the center. Good. This time around, one hand goes on the outside of the opposite knee. You're going to raise the opposite arm. Look up at that upper hand. Lengthen the sides of the body. Inhale. As you exhale, do your side bend. You can gently look down. And then here, root down both hips so you can really feel the stretch on the side of the ribs. Inhale. Exhale. Come back up. And then open both arms. Again, a feeling of length and width and height and stretch. Allowing your body to take up space. We're gonna do the opposite side, okay? One hand on the opposite leg, reaching the other arm up, gaze up, reaching up, inhale. As you exhale, your nice side bend, hips down, and then look down, breathe in, breathe out. And come back to center, open the arms again, and come back, palms down this time, on top of your thighs, yeah? And then slide your hands over your knees like this. You're going to round your back. You're going to arch your back. Rounding. Navel into the spine. Head down. Arching. Opening the chest. Head lifting. Two more times like that. Hand up. One more. And up. Now come back to a neutral spine. Beautiful job. Good. Now from here again, lengthening the arms down, reaching to the side, and up. And then palms together at the center. Beautiful. This time around, opposite hand, yeah, on the outside of the opposite knee. You're gonna grab the chair on the back, and then you're gonna twist 
Now here again, feel both hips down, lengthening your spine, wide on your chest, shoulders down. Take your gaze as far back as you could. Very gently release, come back center. Again, prayer position. Good, reach the arms up. Opposite hand on the opposite knee. And then hold the chair behind you, twisting that spine. Very gently come back to center and come back to prayer position. Beautiful job. Inhale. And exhale. Just roll down through your spine. Drop your head. Drop your chest. Ah, and you're just going to rest here. Your ribs are resting over your thighs. Your arms are dangling. You're like a rag doll. Really let your shoulders cave in. Let your head drop. And we'll take two deep cleansing breaths here. Inhale. Ah, exhale. Release stress. Inhale. Exhale. Release overwhelm. Release tiredness. Just allow yourself to become a ragdoll. From here, you'll very gently roll up through your spine. Feel your spine bone by bone stack up until you have a long neutral spine again. And we'll come back to a prayer position with the hands. But this time, we'll you know, interlace the fingers. Yeah, And we will rotate the wrists. Good. This time, you can close your eyes. When you close your eyes, you have less visual distraction. You may be less self-conscious. And so that you could feel your body more. We'll get into some free flow, but short and sweet movement or dance. And reverse the circle with your wrists. Good. And maybe rotate your shoulders forward, side and down. Reverse the circle the other way. What we're doing is we're just connecting with the body part that is moving. We rotate one shoulder at a time. If you are feeling like you're overthinking or it's like, oh, I have two left feet, I can't do this. Easy. Just move with me. You can do this slower than how I'm doing it. Okay? Good. And remember our cat and cow stretch with the rounding and arching of the back? Try to get back to that supple, flexible spine, but this time floating your arms. What is a float? They're like seaweeds. Floating. Imagine your arms are like underwater. You can also slowly try to do an S with your spine. Oh, now this kind of dancing, as I said a while ago, is intuitive. That means we're not performing. This is not like in the club or in a dance class. This is not to perform a dance perfectly, but rather to just loosen up. Yeah? You can circle your chest. Other way. Good. Slowly start to also release your neck. Keep the float in the arms. Release the neck other way. Good. So what I mean with supple, I mean available. Just feel your spine moving with more availability, your arms floating. Mm, and we will just move with gentle, easy movements today. Yeah? I invite you to close your eyes and in your own way, just dance with your arms and your fingers and your hands. I usually do this, you know, hand dance whenever I feel like I need to release some stress. I need to push away some energies that you know, I may have absorbed from a previous conversation or maybe, you know, some sadness that I'm dealing with. Or maybe sometimes, you know, there's no meaning to the movement. You know, I let the wisdom of my own body take me to different movements, spontaneous movements. Sometimes, even if it's just two minutes and a really, really short song or a really, really short portion of the song, I make it about, oh, body, thank you. Thank you for 
I got to a meeting today and I get to eat and my legs function, my hands could write. I do a little bit of a dance of gratitude even if it's just one minute or 30 seconds. I always connect my breath with the movement. Let's do this together for the last 10 seconds. Nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's all quickly just come back to the prayer position, lengthening the spine, palms together, maybe the chin slightly, bowing down towards the hands and the heart. feeling into your heart space and saying a genuine yet simple thank you to your breath and your body in this moment. And that right there is our short chair yoga and intuitive dance practice that I hope you can use anytime you feel like you just want to move, you just want to play, you know, good music or your favorite song. And um, at the same time, it's just, you know, a quick break from work yeah, that you need. I hope that got you a little bit sweaty, that got you connected to your body more, that got your mind, you know, just rest from work and other things and just in the present moment. I hope that got you to meditate in a moving way. Yeah. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment below. I am gorgeous yeah and then also hit the notification bell so that you may be notified for my next video because next week i will be giving you something that will relieve anxiety and stress through a very very simple gesture that you can do anytime and for like only a minute yeah so if you're interested in that hit the notification bell and also i'm giving a three month one-on-one -on -one coaching program i'm tailor fitting a specific uh, program for you because we're going to be working one-on-one -on -one, one hour a week 12 sessions wherein i'm going to be getting tools from energy healing meditation mindfulness and also dance and movement yeah so to help you uh, any goal you have in terms of your mental emotional or even spiritual health yeah Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.